Okay, good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Key. It's the 4th of July. It's a big celebration in Glenbrook. And along the way, this full day of celebration, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the process that when you submit your idea to these companies, what happens behind the scenes? Because I know a lot of you are very impatient and you're kind of worried sometimes, what are they doing? I'm gonna talk a lot about this, but hey, it's the 4th of July, let the party start. Okay, you send your product submission into a company. Maybe you got in through LinkedIn. Maybe you called them the 800 number on their corporate site, or maybe they have an online submission portal, but whatever, you're ready. You got the sell sheet, you got your pitch down, you got your one line benefit statement, and you send it off into this black hole. I call it the dreaded black hole. And you're just waiting because they're not getting back to you and you're getting a little frustrated. You're not quite sure if they got it, if you filled out all the information correctly, uh, maybe they're working on your product and you don't, even, you don't even know. It's frustrating, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you can determine what to do next and how to keep on following up to make sure they're doing a good job. So you send it in and of course it goes quiet and you're wondering what's going on. You have to realize it takes some time for them to review your product submission. It might take a week, two weeks, it might take a month, it might even take longer. You see, it's hard to bring everybody together. And when I mean ev everyone, it's usually a team that has to evaluate a product submission. It could be someone from sales, someone from marketing, maybe manufacturing, and who knows, they could be spread out across the country, maybe they're on vacation, maybe they're getting ready for a trade show. There could be a lot of things that are going on. So you have to be a little patient. If two weeks go by and you haven't heard a thing and they haven't even said, hey, they even got it, follow up with a, a phone call, maybe get an email and just be a polite pest. I said it, follow up and ask them about their process because sometimes they don't tell you on their website how long it's gonna be before they follow up. So you have to give them a little bit of time. They'll get to you. I can tell you this, if they're truly interested, they're gonna call you fairly quick. See, I know what you're thinking when you send it in and you haven't heard anything back from a company, you're wondering, what are they doing? Are they stealing my idea? Or are they working around my idea? Do they even have it? Did I submit everything correctly? Uh, everything is running through your head. So you need to take a deep breath. If for some reason, you're not quite sure if you did it correctly, follow up in a couple weeks and uh, just confirm they did receive it. Find someone's name, call the company, call the corporate number, ask them, who could you speak with that takes outside product submissions and politely ask them, what is their process? How long does it take for them to get back to you? So let's say they don't get back to you and you're wondering what's going on because sometimes it just takes a little bit of time, but sometimes things might've gone a little haywire. The first thing I would do, I would check, I would look at your marketing material. First thing, look at your marketing material, look at your sell sheet and make sure it looks like them. They've spent a lot of time branding, a lot of, like I said, a lot of time, a lot of money to brand their, their product line, to brand their company. So if you send them a sell sheet that doesn't look like them, there's a very good chance they're not even gonna look at it. That could be your first mistake. So please go to their website of your potential licensee, look at it very closely and make sure you're designing your sell sheet that looks like your product would fit right into their product line. But please, if you're submitting it to at least 20 companies, you don't have to do 20 different sell sheets. 
just do one that that basically looks like the industry that's a that's another tip you don't have to do 20 different ones but please make it look like it belongs in their industry <music> The next thing I would do when I submit an idea to a company, I haven't got any feedback or they're not, they're not getting back to me. I would look at your subject line because sometimes when you submit it to someone on LinkedIn or maybe even their online portal, your subject line, maybe it's a little too spammy. Maybe you're using words that they look at and they go, no, this is not going to work. So take a look at it and make sure that your one line or your subject line really has truly a benefit that maybe they would be interested in, right? So don't say fantastic, huge market opportunity. Don't, don't say those type of words. Just say you're a product developer and you have a, an idea that might fit into the product line. Make it simple, make that subject line have some benefit to them. But please don't sound like you're selling, don't do that. And don't tell them how big the opportunity is. That's a red flag too. Every once in a while, one of my students will show me their marketing copy that they're sending to a company through LinkedIn. And it's just way too long. It's like... <laughs> It's like a page. No one's going to read all this information, uh, especially the first time you reach out to them. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Tell them basically you're a product developer. You'd like to submit an idea to their, their company. Are they the right person? Or could they forward this to the right person? I give you the right person's email. So you're just asking for directions to get it to the right person. Don't sell. Don't pitch. Don't put a link on to your 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 sell sheet or your video don't do that because they're not going to click on it in most situations just find the right person and make it short and make it sweet your marketing copy does not you don't have to tell a story about how you invented it all the different benefits all the market opportunities all that kind of stuff don't do it ask to see or ask to be connected to the right person <laughs> Sometimes when you're reaching out to these companies and you're not getting a response, maybe you're reaching out to the wrong company. Have you ever thought about that? Um, I see this over and over again that um, my students and a lot of people are sending their product uh, submission to basically a company that it doesn't fit. And you're not looking at their website close enough. You're not looking at their product line. You're not looking at their retail price point. You're not looking at the material they're making it in. You're just throwing your idea up against the wall to see if it sticks. And when you don't hear back from them, you're wondering, hey, what's wrong with those guys? When it's really, what's wrong with you? You haven't spent the time to really make sure your product is the right fit for those companies. It's not all about you. You have to put yourself in the shoes of these companies. These executives are extremely busy and you do not want to waste their time. So make sure, the number one thing that you, you need to make sure that your product is unique, you have Googled it and haven't found it someplace else. I hear from these, these CEOs all the time that they get all these product submissions from inventors and within two minutes they can find an idea that's just like it on the internet. So do your homework, make sure your product is unique, don't waste their time and make sure it's a good fit for that company. I know when you're reaching out to these companies, it does take some time, okay? And once you do get a contact there, fantastic. Make sure you take care of it. Make sure you're polite. Make sure you get back to people extremely quick because there's a very good chance your product will get rejected, but you'll probably end up sending them another idea. So what you want to do is that you want to leave 
or not leave, but you want to to make sure you're communicating correctly, you're answering all the questions they're asking, you're polite, you're getting back to them quickly, and you are being patient. So when you do submit it to them again, they welcome you. You built a relationship. Once you start to invest in them, that's right, keep on submitting ideas to them. Even when you get rejected, what happens, they'll start to invest in you. That means they will start to give you some direction. They'll even maybe even tell you what they're looking for. They might give you a target to hit, which is even better. So be polite, build that relationship, and keep submitting ideas to these companies. Don't just jump around like a lot of us do to each company in different categories. Stay in one category long enough where you have the relationships, you understand their product line, you understand what they're looking for, and you're building a strong, long-lasting relationship to these companies. This week I spoke with a company about product submissions from us inventors. And the first thing they said that inventors were not doing enough homework. Number one, within minutes of a product submission that comes over, they could Google it and they could find the same thing. They said 85% of all the products they received, they can find on the internet. So please do your homework, don't waste their time because you don't wanna waste your time either. Do a little background check, do a search on the internet to make sure you have a product that is unique. Also, be polite. This one company I interviewed said that sometimes a product submission will come over and they send it back saying, look, we've already seen this. And the inventor gets really upset about it and starts to say things that are just not appropriate, basically burning the bridge. Then a month later, the inventor sends them another idea. Well, this person was telling me they haven't forgotten your, your last interaction with them, so they're not really happy with you. You haven't built a solid relationship, so please be polite, be kind, and realize if you burn a bridge, they're not gonna welcome you the second time. All right, everybody, this is Stephen Key. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and a few photographs from the 4th of July.